Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are shipping. Today is Monday, November 29th. The last time that I shipped was Wednesday evening, right before Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone had a really nice Thanksgiving and it was some nice time off. I know I really enjoy just taking a couple days to relax, spend some time with friends and family. So I hope you guys had, you know, a good good couple days as well. So we do have quite a bit to ship over the weekend. It was, it was a pretty good sales weekend. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. Our first sale is this skirt by Zara. I found this at the bins and it's really pretty. It's a size medium and it's like this tiered floral lace skirt. It is about halfway lined and then the bottom portion is sheer. I got this because I thought it would be a really nice versatile piece. You could tuck like a more formal blouse into it and wear it, you know, kind of traditional, more traditional, or you could tuck like a graphic t-shirt in and wear some like combat boots to kind of edge it up a little bit. You could do a lot with this. And I think it might have been a blogger's favorite at one point, meaning that, you know, it was sold at Zara and then bloggers who are basically just, you know, women that uh, take like Pinteresty pictures, basically wearing really cute clothes and they make them a blogger's favorite and then sometimes they will sell out or you know they will just sell even sometimes for more than they retailed for at Zara or wherever they're from so um, yeah that's I'm kind of rambling I forget where I was going with this but that's always something to look out for if it's a blogger's favorite you want to list it higher I don't think this was a blogger's favorite currently when I listed it. So I listed it at about 35, which was higher than I would have if I didn't see that it seemed to be more popular. I probably was, would have listed it around 28-ish, but I listed it at 35. I got an offer for 27. I accepted that. My earnings were $21.60 and my net profit was around $20. It did, like I said, was a bins pickup. Same for these. These are, they're a collab piece, so it's Playboy for PacSun, which I didn't even know was a thing, but they do have the embroidered Playboy bunny on the pocket. They're just a denim short, and the comps on these were pretty good. I looked them up while I was still at the Goodwill outlet, and so I definitely wanted to grab them. I listed them at 34 and they got several likes they were a pretty hot item my posher va ended up sending out an offer of 31 dollars with discounted shipping someone accepted that making my earnings 22 dollars and 34 cents and my net profit around 21 dollars and 34 cents so i would say this playboy a collab with PacSun is something to maybe keep your eye out for. It, pretty much anything with the Playboy bunny sells well, especially if it's like vintage stuff. So I figured these would do pretty well. And you know, that's shorts selling in colder weather. So, okay, next up, another Zara piece. This is a little Zara basic and it's a faux fur bolero jacket so it's like a crop jacket and it has a velvet ruffle trim I got this because I thought it would be nice for the holidays you know you could wear like a dress and then have this on top for just a little bit of coverage and fur faux fur I feel like that's always a little bit more popular around this time of year. So did want to get this. I listed it at 
22-ish. Actually, I think I listed it closer to 25, but it was price dropped for closet clear out at some point. So the current list price was 22. Someone liked the listing and so my Posher VA sent them an offer for $19 with discounted shipping. It was accepted, making my earnings $12.74 and my net profit $10.74. I picked this up on Thursday, not like last Thursday, but on a Thursday at my local Family Thrift Center outlet where I shop pretty much every Thursday. Everything in the store is $2. So happy with that. Moving on, we have this plaid poncho sweater. Really cute. I got this mostly because ponchos sell, I mean, they just pretty much fly out of my closet, especially this time of year. I also really liked the neutral color scheme to this. It almost looks like a Burberry kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's definitely not trying to be Burberry, but it just kind of has that vibe. So I knew that that would kind of help it sell. And it's just a nice kind of throw on and go piece. You look really cute and put together, but it's also kind of practical because it does definitely provide some warmth with the turtleneck. So I listed this at $30. I got an offer on it for 20, which I did counter to 25, mainly because this did have quite a bit of interest and I think it's, you know, kind of a substantial piece. So I did want to counter that to 25. It was accepted. And so my earnings were 20 and my net profit was $19. I have been loving going to the bins and, you know, trying to find some clothes. And while I'm doing that, just kind of tossing ponchos, scarves. Um, I sold a purse strap a few weeks ago for $27. So just kind of tossing in some lesser, oops. <sighs> Gotta put the label on, that might help it get shipped but yeah I've been really enjoying just kind of picking up less substantial pieces and they've been selling really well honestly okay next a two-piece bundle here we have this leopard sweater this was a style based pickup I got it because it's a size extra large and leopard print is just a super classic always popular print the brand is just Signature Studio, which I think is just like kind of a boutique thing. Um, but the quality felt really good. It was in good shape. And so all signs kind of pointed to yes on this. Second and final piece is this We The Free Burnout Distressed. I guess it's not burnout, but it does have kind of a graphite wash to it has a little chest pocket this looks like it's been worn for like seven years or something crazy but it is actually manufactured to look like this i did find the sock photo and kind of compare it and it it looks brand new basically like how it's supposed to look so I knew this would sell pretty quickly. It did have lots of interest to it. The bundle price for these two tops came out to $57 and the buyer offered me $42. I went ahead and accepted that, making my earnings $33.60 and my net profit $31.60. These were both bins grabs and I think they're really nice pieces I would totally wear both of these definitely my kind of style bundle here I'm kind of itching to go back to the bins I haven't been shopping in a few days mainly because of Thanksgiving and I've just been busy trying to catch up with listing but I'm ready to get back over there 
Okay, next, M.M. Lafleur, really pretty dress, long sleeve dress. It has kind of a dramatic shoulder. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. And this is also, I spent so long trying to figure out if this dress was a very deep navy or black. So I think I finally decided that it was a navy. Actually, I looked it up, I did research, and I found that this dress was not made in black. So it had to be a navy color. It does have a little bit of fuzz to it. I have lint rolled this thing like six times already. So I did my best. It's a size 14, which is a great size. I don't really see plus size in M.M. Lafleur. I mean, I don't find it that often, but it's usually like zero to size four. So I'm always super excited when I can find a larger size in a great brand. Um, this did have some wear to it, but I still got it because I mean, the retail is super high, the brand is very popular, and even with some wear, it's a very well-made piece, and so I'm sure it still has a lot of life left, a lot of wear left. I forget what I originally listed this for, but it had been dropped for a closet clear out. I guess I listed it somewhere around 70-ish. The current list price was 61 and it did sell for full price. So it sold for 61. My earnings were $48.80. I probably paid about $2 for this at the bins. And so my net profit was $46.80. So happy with that. That probably took, I would say a month and a half to sell. It took a little bit longer, but you know, it sold for full price. So. I'm A-OK -okay with that. That's definitely a brand to look out for, M.M. Lafleur. Very nice, practical workwear. It's easy to wash. I think it's all like machine washable and it looks really good. Okay, next we have this Free People green tank top with a built-in lace underlay. This did have a couple spots on it. I think honestly my washing machine put them on there. It's kind of frustrating. Um, I live in an apartment and I just have like the stackable washer and dryer. They're not the greatest. Um, and if the fabric is, I don't wash everything, but this just needed a quick wash. And sometimes my washing machine can just kind of, I don't know what it does. It's really, frustrating. I need to I need to wash stuff over here more. This is, I'm at my parents' house. This is where I have my office. Um, but yeah, anyways, this had a couple small spots. So I did disclose that and I listed it for around 15. It sold for full price. My earnings were 12. I probably paid about 50 cents for this at the bins. It is so lightweight. So my net profit was around $11.50 on this tank. Next up, we have this 90s denim dress from Gap. It snaps all the way down. It's in this light wash. And any style of dress like this that's a little bit older from, you know, the 90s or early 2000s from like Gap, Eddie Bauer, um, Old Navy, sometimes even like, you know, no boundaries, Walmart stuff, it will sell pretty well. Bill Blass, I'm trying to think of, but yeah, anything that um, is in like a short denim dress style, even the pinafore jumper dresses, that, those are some of my most consistent sellers. I know that when I pick up a dress that looks like this or somewhat similar, I know for a fact that it is going to sell and it's going to sell pretty quickly. So this dress I listed at $32. I got an offer of 23. I went ahead and accepted that. I would say 
these types of dresses like the denim jumper dresses or the snap down just basically vintage 90s denim mini dresses that's like a broad category but within that style of clothing i would say that they are a very consistent sale around that 18 to 32 ish mark so yeah this one sold for 23 my earnings were 18 dollars and 40 cents and my net profit was 16 dollars and 40 cents Okay, next up we have, I'm going to grab my box number seven. And we have, first off, this American Eagle sweatshirt. It's like a long line sweatshirt. This is actually new with tags, so I was really happy to see it at the bins. It's from their Amazingly Soft line, and this thing really is super, super soft. It retailed for $45, it's a size large. It has like a mock neck, ribbed trims, and side vents at the bottom. So that sold. And then I sold a bundle of four Madewell t-shirts. I listed these all together in one bundle. Um, I found them all at the bins and I didn't think they were substantial enough to list individually on their own. So I just grabbed all of them and threw them up as a bundle listing and they got quite a bit of attention so I'll probably try to do that in the future if I find you know a large group of basics these were all also in amazing condition they look like they had really never been worn they were all size large and extra large so a really nice cozy lounge bundle here there were three t-shirts and then one tank. So when everything was bundled together, the bundle price was $85 and I got an offer for 60. I did counter that. We countered back and forth a couple times and we landed on 67. That made my earnings $53.60. I probably paid about $4 for everything. This all came from the Goodwill outlet where you are charged by the pound. It's $2.19 per pound here in Houston. So yeah, I paid about $4 for everything. So my net profit was right around $50 on this bundle. So I'm definitely happy with that. And I hope the buyer enjoys her nice, new, comfy style top. Okay, next up we have another kind of vintage 90s dress. This I got, it was kind of an experimental piece. It's a 90s, did I say? Yeah, like 90s Y2K kind of style. The brand is Bill Hallman. I got it even though it was super plain. I thought that I could model it to just kind of envision you know what I was thinking of how you could style it with like a white baby doll t-shirt underneath I actually don't have one in my own closet I did order one for Black Friday from from Gap it's kind of crazy you know I I'm shopping like 24 7 and I can never find just basic white t-shirts but anyways that was how I envisioned styling it with just a little white tee underneath and I did, I think I took a model pic with me wearing like a gray long sleeve underneath, which was kind of the same, kind of, you know, it gives the buyer an idea of what I was going for. And it ended up selling really well. So I think I'm going to continue doing that in the future, picking up stuff that I know I can kind of market a certain way. And because, you know, if I had just taken pictures of this plain black dress hanging. I think it would have sat for a while longer. I listed this at 35. My Posher VA sent out an offer of 31 with discounted shipping. Someone accepted that making my earnings $22.34 and my net profit $21.34. So that was an awesome return on that dress that really motivates me to pick up more stuff based on style. 
really fun pickup here. This is a graphic. It's a vintage graphic crew neck sweatshirt. It says Texas party animals and it has all of these um, animals on the front like a bull, a squirrel, bunny, armadillo, and I think they're all drinking Lone Star. One of them is smoking a cigar. So yeah, I could not leave this at the bins, um, especially being a native Texan. If this didn't sell pretty quickly, I probably would have kept this just because it's pretty cool. So I listed this at 28 and it actually ended up selling for full price. My earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was $21.40. So I knew this would do pretty well just because, you know, vintage, cool, interesting, quirky stuff always performs pretty well. And the graphic was just pretty neat. You have Texans who definitely have loyalty to Texas so that for sure helped it okay moving on three-piece bundle here first off we have this airy size extra large pullover hoodie it's like a soft ribbed material and then it has these contrast drawstrings I was happy that this was a size extra large. I don't find, um, you know, larger sizes and really nice condition loungewear too often. I don't underestimate Airy, American Eagle, all of their kind of lounge stuff. It is pretty expensive. I mean, this sweatshirt probably retailed for around fifty to sixty dollars, and it's really good quality. People seem to actively be searching for it on you know secondhand platforms like Poshmark and so I will continue picking it up and second piece is this free people size medium linen blend tunic top it's really cute it has kind of a baby doll style with a deep V in front Again, I knew this would do well because it is a linen blend and it's oversized and it has like a frayed trim to it. And last piece, this again was kind of an experimental piece for me. It was kind of a slow day at the bins and I found this and I just really like the style of it. It's like a bell sleeve with this really pretty kind of like subtle tie dye. It's like a neutral tie dye to it. The brand is just Blue Pepper, which is, I don't I don't even know where this is sold, maybe like TJ Maxx or something, but it just looks so boho and pretty. So I thought I would pick it up and see how it did. And it sold pretty quickly, all, let's see what, oh yeah, what is this? This was the Airy, yeah. I'm losing my mind here, but all three of these pieces sold very quickly. So happy about that. When added together, the bundle price was $87 for everything. And I did receive an offer for $74. I went ahead and accepted that. I thought that was super fair, making my earnings $59.20. I paid about $4 for everything. And so, my net profit was $55.20. Dropped my label. So this is box number 1095. This is basically for um, like medium sized bundles, I would say. I have box 10 number two. I have box 1092, which is for smaller bundles. And then I have the big, large box, box number seven for my biggest bundles. So those are all of the boxes that I order from USPS for free. I have a list of everything that I order in the description down below if you guys are curious. I know 
for a lot of the people that watch my channel regularly this probably all sounds repetitive but um, for anyone new just so you know I do try to put all the information in the description down below okay moving on trim this we have this really pretty anthropology it's like a mixed patchwork print semi sheer floral wrap top the sub brand from anthro on this is tiny which i really like picking up they have a lot of really pretty feminine prints and patterns and kind of cuts to their items this is a size large and in excellent condition so i was really happy to find this I listed this top at $40 just because the comps seemed pretty high for the specific style of top from Anthropology. I received an offer of $25, which I did counter to, I want to say like $32-ish. And then I got a counter offer of $29. I did accept that. That made my earnings. $23.20 and my net profit $21.20. Next up we have this sundry or sundry semi-cropped color block sweatshirt. Super cute. This was another piece that was sold at Anthropology, but this brand is not always. It's a size zero, so that converts to an extra small. I was a little iffy when I found, first found this at the outlet store on picking it up or not. Just because I think the main reason is because I'm not a huge color person um, and obviously this is very colorful. But I just did a quick search for the comps and they looked super good for this specific sweater. This had sold for like 40 to 45 ish. So I went ahead and listed it at 40 and someone offered me 22 which i did counter to 25. that was accepted so my earnings were 20 and my net profit was 18 dollars so yeah anytime i'm just a little bit on the fence about something i always just take a few minutes and look to see how it has sold in the past i think that's a pretty foolproof way of deciding um so yeah next we have these silk pants they're like a palazzo pant wide leg really pretty these were a bins pickup they have this really really soft stretch jersey knit waistband as well as lining and then this outer portion is 100 percent silk they have this dramatic side slit and then this is the interior pant. These were made in Italy, I think. Yeah, made in Italy. And they just seem really comfy. They're like an updated basic because they are, you know, very soft and comfortable. But they are a silk material and they have this nice tie-dye. So I feel like you could wear these in a variety of ways. I listed these at 35. I got an offer of 29, which I thought was awesome. I accepted that, making my earnings 23.2 and my net profit $22.20. So yeah, I had never heard of this brand, Gigi Moda, but they look like really good quality. The materials were good. They had a trendy tie-dye print and they were in excellent condition. So at the bins, I will totally try out new brands, new styles, and see how they do. And this sold really well. So I will continue picking up similar style pieces. Next we have, this is an unbranded dress. I got it because it's a linen cotton blend. So natural materials, really pretty floral botanical embroidery size extra large. It has pockets it's like a maxi length so i mean you could not get more sellable than this dress in my opinion 
I actually also found it in a coral color, the exact same dress, same style, same size. That one hasn't sold yet. This I listed for $45 and my someone liked the listing. And so my Posher VA sent out an offer to the liker for $40 with this kind of chip. They did accept that, making my earnings $29.54 and my net profit $27.54. So super happy about this. That's a great return. It's a really nice, pretty piece. So I hope the buyer enjoys it. Embroidery is always, I'm always excited about embroidery. Next we have this Lululemon jacket. It's this purple zip up jacket. It's called the form jacket, F O R M E. And this did have some wear to it. It has pilling under the arms and it's just not in the greatest condition, but I still went ahead and got it just because Lululemon is so incredibly popular and also because my cost of goods are so low that I do have room there to heavily discount items for flaws and still make a pretty good profit. So I listed this at $30. My, once again, my Posher VA sent out an offer of $27 with discounted shipping. That was accepted and so my earnings were $19.14 and I only paid a couple dollars for this. So I'm happy with that. This is one more item that is kind of not going to a landfill. It has a new home and that's always exciting to me. Definitely a win-win um, for this piece, for every piece, hopefully. <laughs> and two-piece bundle here. First off is this Sparrow by Anthropology. Really pretty kind of multicolored. It's almost like a Fair Isle kind of vibe cardigan. This is an older piece from Anthro, but this like quirky style still sells super well. They make more modern pieces to kind of look like this style. And so... I do pick up the older pieces that, um, you know, are still kind of a trendy style, I guess you'd say. And so I'm going to wrap these separately. It's also 100% lamb's wool. And so, you know, the print mixed with the fabric and also the condition where all reasons that I got it. It has these really fun quirky wood buttons down the front and then we have this little cardigan and this is a solid pickup. It's 74% lamb's wool, 15% rabbit hair. The brand is Twiggy which I have sold this exact sweater in the past. I thought it was just some uh, like no name, random vintage cardigan. But someone in my comments told me that this brand Twiggy was actually created by the model Twiggy. So that's super cool and interesting. So yeah, I found this exact cardigan. This is my second time selling it. And with the embroidered cherry detail mixed with the really nice luxurious fabric combo. I think it's a very sellable item. The bundle price for these two sweaters was $74. Someone offered me $45, which I did counter to $55 just because these are both really nice quality, um, nice material sweaters. So yeah, counter to $55 and that was accepted. So my earnings came out to $44. I paid $2 for each sweaters. And so my net profit was $40 on this bundle. 
Okay, next we have J. Jill. This was another uh, pickup from the bins that I just kind of grabbed, mainly because it's in amazing condition. I thought this was a really nice uh, cut to it, or kind of like trendy look with the really soft cotton upper, and then this kind of like layered look shirt under. It's not it's not actually two shirts, so it's it's going for that kind of faux layered look. And it's also a size 3X. So plus size from J. Jill, Chico's, um, Talbot's. They do sell a little bit better for me. I would not have picked this up if it was a size extra small. But yeah, being 3X in great shape with this kind of cute look to it. I did get it. I listed it at 28 and I got an offer for 15. I countered that to 22 and then the buyer did counter to 20, which I accepted. That made my earnings $16. So I made right around $15 net profit on this top, which I think is pretty great for, um, you know, just kind of a little add on. I just kind of threw this in my cart. It wasn't um, anything that I really mulled over or anything. Alrighty, next, just a bread and butter piece here. It's a Ramones graphic band t-shirt. I pick up pretty much any and all band t-shirts that I find that are in good shape. And honestly, even if they aren't in good shape, sometimes that makes them worth more. But this one looks pretty good. It's a popular brand band. And I listed it at 28. I got an offer of 23, which I accepted. My earnings were $18.40. And so my net profit was around $16.40. I would say band tees consistently sell around $18 to $30 for me, usually $18 to $28-ish, so anything within that range I'm um, I'm good with. Okay, we have a very exciting sale here. I'm going to put this in a big box here. We have this Patagonia. It's a vintage Patagonia reversible jacket, so it has this deep pile fleece on one side, and then the opposite side is a navy. It's like a waterproof windbreaker kind of look on the other side. I did have this in a haul video, so if you want a closer look at all the tags and everything, I can link that haul video down below. But this thing is in pretty much mint condition. I mean, it has like absolutely no signs of wear. Usually with Patagonia, you'll have pilling at the bottom hem and wrist cuffs, but this had no pilling. I might actually put this in a plastic bag. I try to not use plastic in my shipping, but this jacket did sell for $210. And also, you know, it's from 1994 and it's in mint condition, so if it came all this way in life and then got ruined somehow during transit, I don't think I could ever forgive myself. So I will wrap this in plastic. A lot of you guys ask, you know, aren't you worried about the, the elements when you're shipping only in boxes and with paper? And I have never gotten a complaint that I can remember. There might have been one or two, but 99.9% .9 of the time, I it's totally fine. Like I have never gotten a complaint from a buyer about anything getting wet or damaged. So I'm just going to continue to use paper until that hopefully never becomes a problem um, just because it's better for the environment. And I'm just shipping such a large quantity that it makes me feel better to just use paper. So this jacket I listed at $445.
I got an offer, I would say about a month after being listed for 190. I did counter that. We countered back and forth a couple times and we settled on $210. So I'm very happy with that. It was a little bit lower than I was kind of expecting, but I'm still thrilled about it. It came from the bins. And so my return on investment with this is just insane. I think if I had held out for a while longer, it would have sold for a little bit more, probably to a collector of Patagonia. The thing that made this so valuable was the condition, just the fact that it is vintage and it shows no signs of wear. If it had been like a tribal or Aztec print in this same reversible like glissade style from Patagonia, then it probably would have sold for around 500. But I am extremely happy with 210. That made my earnings $168 and my net profit $166 on this jacket. So could not be happier. I hope the buyer really enjoys it and loves it because it really is a beautiful piece. Okay, next we have this blue and gray marled knit turtleneck, super soft. This is their signature soft fabric. And I usually pick up anything blue and gray that's made of this fabric. It's a rayon spandex blend just because it's a keyword, signature soft, it's all one word. People search it out because it's just so soft and luxurious feeling. I listed this at 28. I got an offer of 10, which I did counter to 15. And they countered to 12. I went ahead and accepted that, making my earnings $9 and my net profit $8. So you know, not a huge sell here, but everything adds up honestly. And this probably only took me like five minutes to list. Let me add my thank you sticker here. Okay, moving on, we have another bundle. This is a three piece bundle here. Eileen Fisher. I did, once again, I did lint roll all this stuff <laughs> and it just seems to find lint. Okay, so this is Eileen Fisher, size small, really pretty kind of semi-cropped boiled wool cardigan. Uh, festive colors are definitely selling better this time of year. I have shipped so many red and green pieces recently. I'll wrap the next two together. So definitely keep your eye out for festive colors. I do try to add keywords like, you know, Christmas sweater, festive cardigan, holiday, Christmas, festive, those kind of keywords. Okay, next second piece is this J. Crew New York graphic sweater, pullover sweater. I picked this up because New York, obviously a very popular state. And last piece, H&M, really feminine cut and print blouse. I got this for myself, but I didn't end up loving the fit, and so I listed it. And so when these three pieces were added together, the bundle price was 72 and this is kind of funny so basically at the same time she sent an offer for 55 and i sent an offer for 50 dollars with discounted shipping and she did obviously accept my offer which i'm fine with that kind of stuff happens you just kind of laugh it off um you know she got a great deal and it's a nice bundle so you know I'm happy with the sale either way um, and I I was offering a little bit lower because I wanted to make sure to sell this red cardigan during holiday time because it would probably sit until holiday time next year and so I did want to move this out so I'm definitely happy with the sale it's a win-win my earnings came out to 
$37.54. I paid about $5 for everything. And so my net profit was $32.54. Okay, next we have this. This was a new brand for me. I'll put it on the screen. I'm not sure how to say it, but I could just tell that it was really nice quality when I found it at the bins. It's like this quilted bodice body area and then it's a mixed media with the cable knit wool blend sleeves and it is a hoodie it's a pullover hoodie um, I listed this at 45 the brand seems pretty expensive it has a pretty good retail price and um, very high quality I got an offer I would say a month and a half maybe two months after li being listed for $30 I went ahead and took that just because I do want to start moving out my colder weather pieces um, I have been accumulating them and listing them and it is go time right now to get them all sold and um, so yeah I did accept $30 on this I made my earnings 24 paid about a dollar for it at the bins and so my net profit was $23 I think I'll do a box okay just a couple more sales before I'm going to have to break and run down to the post office yet another bundle we have first off this sweater from anthropology i had never heard of this sub brand before change of the moon it's really cute you can wear it like this or you can just make it more of like an actual scarf but the scarf is built into the sweater so i thought that was kind of neat that's what kind of drew me to the piece when i saw it and then i checked the fabric tag and it was a cashmere I think rabbit hair blend and I saw the 66170 so I knew that it was from anthro and then this semi cropped journey graphic t-shirt it has like a wide neckline I actually ordered this top from thread ups online outlet because like I was mentioning earlier uh, band tees are a pretty much solid seller for me and then our third and final item in this bundle is this pair of bot botkie i'm probably totally butchering that b-o-t-k-i-e-r new york uh that's the brand i got these in it was it was a joe mar shoe mystery box and i paid five dollars per pair of shoes so the bundle price for everything was $74 and I was offered $65 for the bundle so I went ahead and took that. I thought that was really fair. That made my earnings $52. I paid around $10 for everything just because the journey top came from ThreadUp and the shoes came from Jomar. So a little bit higher cost of goods, but I still made a net profit of $42. So I'm happy with that. I think that's great for having inventory delivered straight to my door. Um, I didn't have to go out, drive around, and source two out of these three items. So I'll just stick our label on. And then I think, I think we have time for two more sales here. So first is this Garnet Hill, really pretty dress. It's like this wine color. It's a little bit longer length. The body is lined and then the sleeves are sheer. It has this nice like leaf leaf print mesh overlay and then a silk drawstring drawstring at the neck and garnet hill is definitely a brand to not underestimate um it's it has a high retail price and people do 
you know, search for it, look for it, just because they know that it's good quality. And this was actually a newer piece. This was still selling online. I thought it would be great for the holidays, and so I did get it. I did find it at the bin, so it was kind of a no-brainer. I listed it for $50, and my someone did like the listing. Posture VA sent them an offer of $45 with discounted shipping, which they accepted, making my earnings $33.54 and my net profit $31.54. So I'm ecstatic about that. I think that's a great return on this piece. And I hope the buyer enjoys it. I'm wondering if they'll wear it during the holiday season. And if so, I hope they really like it. Okay, last piece before we break is this cloth and stone linen 100% linen jumpsuit this had lots of sellable features in my opinion again natural materials which are always nicer more sought after it has this crossover detail in back it's a size large um, jumpsuits jumpsuit style pieces sell really well along with rompers um, and also you know it's a reputable brand cloth and stone i don't know if this piece was sold at anthropology it could have been um but i'm not sure so this i listed for 30 dollars and my again my posture va sent out an offer of 27 with discounted shipping that made my earnings $19.14 and my net profit $18.14. Okay, so I am back from the post office. It's actually quite a bit later. It's 7 p.m. now. So let's go ahead and just jump back in to our sales. Next up, we have a pair of Steve Madden heels. I got these from the bins mainly because they look like they were in excellent condition. They're also that kind of like minimalist style with some very thin straps. These are called the Nectar heels. This style, this Nectar style of heels from Steve Madden seems to be pretty sought after. I forget, I found two pairs at the bins. I found this cream or tan color and the black hair. The cream haven't sold yet, but I think one person just donated both pairs because they are the same size and I did find them next to each other. So the black pair has sold and it actually sold for full price of $40. So I think that kind of supports what I was just saying. One of the colors, it was either the tan or the black. There were not very many listed, but many, many sold. And that's always what you want to see. You want to see, you know, a lot of something, a lot of sold comps and very few available listings, because that means that you can control the price a little bit more. You're not competing with a million different sellers. So yeah, these were listed at 40, sold full price. That made my earnings $32 and my net profit about $31. They're pretty lightweight. Did I? Yeah, I was just, usually I put a piece of paper at the top, I forgot, but they don't seem like they're moving around very much anyways. Okay, so next we have a huge bundle. How many items are in this bundle? 12. So I have this very large box that I ordered. I forget, I ordered something from Amazon, some kind of supplies, and they came in this box. I don't have a Priority Mail branded box big enough to ship this bundle, so I'm just going to reuse this Amazon box. And I will just pack all 12 items in here. So I'm going to pay close attention to this sheet here. 
So first off, we have Zara red dress. I believe I ordered this from ThreadUp because it looked really boho and cute to me. Zara, Zara dresses generally sell pretty well. Second piece is this pair of Free People pants. These are really cute. They're like a harem pant in like this green stripe. And I'm just going to fold everything in. I think everything for the most part is just like a cotton material. So nothing's too delicate or anything like that. Next, Athleta. This is a merino wool sweater. Super soft, long line. It has the thumb holes. This is a very cozy piece here. Then we have a jumpsuit from American Eagle. Yeah, American Eagle. It's a little striped jumpsuit, wide leg, cropped wide leg. This is a linen blend. So this had a lot going for it. It also was their newer tag. So with the material cut, I think I was mentioning earlier that jumpsuits sell well for me and also newer tag. I wanted to get that. Then we have this really cute dress from Target. I picked this up for myself, but I just wasn't a huge fan of the fit, so I listed it. It has like a vintage inspired floral print and then lots of ruffles. Super cute. Okay, then we have a pair of shoes. I'm going to skip those and go back to them. This pair of cabby trousers with a grid slash window pane print and anthropology mave little tunic top with geometric shapes this is adorable i got this from the bins it was probably about a dollar very lightweight here And Lauren Conrad chambray top with a little bell flare sleeve and a split hem and back. I picked this up based on style. Chambray material tops sell really well. I think they're a lot of people's kind of like go-to fabric in the fall time. Then we have this pair of Hudson shorts. They're like a railroad stripe or railway stripe. Is it railroad? I forget, but either way, they're Hudson. It's like a pinstripe kind of look. And then two more. American Eagle, again, newer tag. Picked this up from the bins. I love the stripes and the tiered uh, bodice with the button up. I thought this was super cute. So we have this and lastly we have this little tank top from Airy plus Alley which is an anthropology brand it has this like stone wash stone wash to it very boho and lastly these shoes so I'm just going to review our list here. Okay, so we have everything. Then we will add the shoes. Let me set that there. And these are Ms. Moos. Again, a Ben's pickup. Very boho, genuine leather. They have both a double ankle strap and double toe strap. Add that this and then I will ugh, I'm gonna add a piece of paper 
on top of everything. I still need to weigh this. I'm actually going to close this box up off camera because it is missing a cardboard flap on this side. I cut it off to, to add into another box. So I'm just going to have to add in a cardboard flap from a different box on this box. I don't know why I did that, but it'll be fine. I will tape it all up very securely. But for the most part, this is what it will look like when the buyer opens it. You have a piece of paper with your thank you sticker. I probably will also add a Poshmark thank you sticker. Um, and let me just weigh this just to see how much this weighs. I'm curious. These all were older items, and so I was really excited to move them in a huge bundle like this, but I'm hoping that the shipping upcharge isn't crazy. So my scale does have a hold button, which someone recently told me. Once you have your box on, you can press the hold button on the side and then move. Okay, so this is 10 pounds, not too bad. That means that I will have to upgrade the shipping label. So I just went to, I went to my sales, I clicked on the bundle sale, and then I'm clicking need new shipping label, need heavier weight label, please select weight. So I weighed it and it's 10 pounds. So $22.50. So you know what I'm going to do? She actually bought a second bundle for me. So I think I might split some of this up into the other shipment, into the other order. I'm going to, you know, obviously run it by her and maybe even like formally, well, I don't know. Yeah, either way, I will figure this out, but I'm probably going to split some of this into because she ordered these two items for me as well. So I can put some of this into that box and just run that by her. So I will figure this out off camera, but this huge bundle did sell for $175 with discounted shipping. That makes my earnings $138. 50. I paid about $20 for everything, so my net profit is $118. However, you do have to account for the added shipping, which, which I do pay. Buyer usually pays shipping, but if you have to upgrade the label, then the seller pays for that. So you would take $118 minus $22 that I'm having to pay. So that means that I'm making a net profit closer to $100 on this. But like I said, I will try to split it up a little more evenly. So I'm just going to put this here and do this off camera, kind of split that up a little bit. So that means that I'm not going to wrap these two up because I might be adding to the box, but this is a Madewell ex-boyfriend shirt. And this is a little anthropology tie front striped t-shirt. So these two sold to the same buyer of this huge bundle I just packaged up and they sold for 25 together, the two tops. I gave her a discounted rate just because she was already buying a huge bundle for me. So again, I'm just going to put this label with that and um, figure that out in just a little bit when I'm done filming. Okay, so moving on, we have a pair of Free People shorts. These are distressed green, super cute. I actually ordered these from Poshmark um, from Christina's BTQ, but they didn't end up fitting me exactly how I wanted and so I just went ahead and listed them. That's the beauty of reselling is you can just quickly list the clothing that you own but don't want to wear. So I listed these for $30 and they actually 
sold for full price to a guest buyer. So probably my guess would be someone um, owned these shorts or wanted these shorts and they just did a Google search for free people loving good vibrations shorts. That's the style name. And my listing popped up and so they just bought them off of Google. That's usually what a guest buyer, that's usually how, what happens when a guest buyer buys your listing is they were searching for something through Google and then found your listing. So that's why it's important to find the style names of your items. Um, I have the full style name there. Free people, loving, good vibrations, cut off shorts. So yeah, full price, $30 sale. My earnings were 24 and you know, I bought them for myself. So I'm just saying that I made back the $24. I'm not sure how much I paid for them. Okay, next up, this is, this was a really good sale. This is a navy blazer. It's like 96% wool, 4% elastane. The brand is 6397. I was unfamiliar with this brand when I found it at the bins but I found a stack of items from this brand all together in a bin next to designer items that I was familiar with. And so, and these felt like quality. So I looked it up. This blazer retails for around $650. It's sold, I think it's sold at like higher end department stores and they also have you know their own website and everything. The quality is amazing. It's kind of an obscure brand, so I wasn't sure how well it would do on Poshmark. I've already sold one blazer, I think for around $80. This one sold for $70, which I'm happy with. You know, I picked this up at the bins. It's in great shape, so, you know, the buyer gets a great deal. Like I said, retails for around $600, so super high quality, but for me, a $70 sale when I paid probably a couple dollars for this is I'm totally fine with that. So that makes my earnings $56 and my net profit $54. So I do have one more blazer to go that I found from this brand. Oh, this is this was a different blazer that I found in the same stack, but this is this is the last one from the 6397. It's a size medium and it's like a grid print. Really cool, 100% wool. So hopefully that one sells as well. Okay, then we have, this is our last sale in our women's, in my women's closet. Um, it's a bundle of four items. First off, we have this floral print button-down shirt. The brand is St. John's Bay, but I just thought this was so cute. It has a floral print all over, and the print on the body of the shirt has a like chocolate brown base color to it, but then all of the trims the trims have another floral print that has a black base color to it. I thought that was precious. Um, second item is this cherry print cardigan. Super cute print. You guys know I love novelty prints. The brand is, is just Signature Collection, but I did get it for the print. And the next two pieces honestly are just as cool in my opinion. Okay, next. Next and final two pieces in this bundle. First off is this Trina Turk dress. I undid the belt because I thought it'd be easier to package up, but it does have a matching fabric covered belt. Is this not the coolest dress ever? It's super mod and this color palette with the browns is just so cool in my opinion. So I definitely don't always buy Trina Turk, but I just loved this piece. And lastly is this New Attacks Mod Cloth skirt. I picked this up at regular Goodwill. And again, we have that fun novelty umbrella print. 
so had to get this so yeah I think this is super cool bundle if I do say so myself and it sold for $64 that made my earnings $51.20 I paid about $13 for everything just because I did order the cherry print cardigan from ThreadUp and the mod cloth skirt was about $5 at Goodwill. So my net profit was $38.20 on this bundle. Grab my $10.95 box. And then we will move on to our sales from my men's closet, which I'm really excited about. I've been listing a lot over there, and honestly, the momentum has picked up. It's really funny when you list more, you sell more. I mean, that's just kind of a rule across the board. So. Um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of try to keep the ball rolling in my men's closet. Okay, so we have that. And our first sale for men's is this carbon to cobalt blazer jacket. It's like a, it's a really soft, like comfortable blazer that kind of like moves with you it's not stiff at all it's a size large if you guys are interested in selling men's at all or um yeah if you're if you want to pick up men's brands i would highly recommend this brand carbon to cobalt i have sold it many many times now it has sold right around that 30 to 35 dollar mark very consistently a lot of their stuff is really expensive. Just the button down shirts are around $100. So I listed this blazer for $40. And I got an offer of $25, which I did counter to $32, which was accepted. That made my earnings $25.60 and my net profit $24 and 60 cents next this is a really pretty piece excellent bins find this is Brooks Brothers 100% Scottish cashmere it's 100% cashmere made in Scotland I mean this is gorgeous love the neutral brown color this had like no pilling no signs of wear nothing so I mean I was ecstatic when I found this I listed it last night for $75 and I got an offer about 30 minutes later for 60 which I went ahead and took that made my earnings 48 and my net profit 47 so yeah, it's been really nice having some men stuff sell that really kind of helps to supplement my sales and income. Okay, next we have this barber jacket. Again, an excellent brand to find. They do make both women's and men's pieces, but this is a men's jacket. It's a quilted jacket. It's called the Eskdale jacket and this was in great shape it is a little bit of an older piece but you really wouldn't know it based on the condition i'm going to put this in my box number seven i just line the bottom of the box with a piece of paper and then add a piece of paper on top and a thank you sticker and call it a day honestly i don't I don't spend too much time packaging up larger items by any means. So I listed this jacket at $85 and about an hour after being listed, I got an offer for 45, 
which I did counter to 55, which was pretty consistent with comps and that was accepted. So that made my earnings 44 and my net profit about $42. I did get that at the bins as well. Alrighty, next another Bolo brand, Mizzen and Main. This is like a check gingham button down shirt. This brand is really nice because they make button down shirts that are like performance material. So, you know, it's like sweat wicking almost. It feels really nice. And I'm sure I can imagine that would be pretty handy in like a stuffy office. So they retail for around $100. This one did have a cracked button on one sleeve. It's like you had the option to use one of two buttons and one of them was cracked. So you have another one there. You just kind of have to hope that, you know, that's the one that fits your wrist. But either way, if they wanted to replace it, it wouldn't be a huge deal. So it ended up selling for 25. If it didn't have the cracked button, it probably would have sold closer to 35 ish. But again, I got this at the bin, so that's still good for me. I'm fine with that. My net profit on this shirt was $19. Then we have yet another Bolo brand. This is Tori Richard, made in Hawaii. Anything made in Hawaii that's like a button down casual shirt like this, I always take a second to look closer, you know, look closer at it, do a little bit of research, and this does seem like a pretty good brand to pick up. I also just really like the neutral print to it. This is like my kind of print. It's a size extra large, 100% cotton lawn, it has a chest pocket, and this I listed last night. It sold for full price like an hour ago, a couple hours ago for $45. So how awesome is that? I mean, that's like best, you know, ideal scenario there. So my earnings were 36 and my net profit was about $35. Yet another bins pickup. So yeah, keep your eye out for Tori Richard Hawaiian shirts. Um, this one I think was vintage. It had a paper tag and the writing all just looked, you know, like it was a little bit older. So I did say that it was vintage. I think the fact that it was an extra large, a nice neutral colorway and excellent condition. I think those are all good selling points. I was going to say it feels like I've been shipping all day long, but I literally have been shipping all day long. I started around 11 or noon maybe, and it is 7.30 now. So it definitely does make it go by faster when I'm filming because, um, you know, I'm chatting and just having a little bit of entertainment there. So these shoes, I sent out an offer last night for $28 with just kind of shipping, which that was accepted. Uh, did I say what they were? They're Cole Haan leather sneakers. Really nice. I think they are the Grand OS technology or whatever. So my earnings were $19.94 on these and my net profit was about $18. They, again, were from the bins. Okay, so that is absolutely everything that I'm going to be shipping, what, that I shipped today and then I will ship tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and I hope your holiday season is going well and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.